So that's one reason you can get divorced. Um, the other reason you can get divorced is that no one can get pregnant because part of the idea when you get married is that you owe each other what's called the marital debt or the conjugal debt. So you have to be able to have sex uh, with the other person because it's just like, well, if I'm going to go to hell, if I have sex with someone other than my husband or wife, they have to have sex with me. Um, and if it's reasonable, the, like the, the thing be, there being that it's reasonable. So yeah, you could probably get pregnant and, you know, everything else is, you know, taken into court. Like, you know, you have to kind of like give it up and have sex with people. So a big way that people get divorced is if their husbands are impotent. And like, this is a case that goes to court a lot. And the way that they will test this is that like a woman will go to court and she'll say, my husband can't get it up. And the court will say, oh yeah, prove it. And what they'll do is they'll go get a bunch of sex workers um, and they'll get the man. And like, this has happened in Scotland. We've got this documented as a part of court record. They go get a bunch of sex workers who like get naked in front of the guy and take turns like jacking him off and stuff. And then when he can't like get it up, they're like, yeah, definitely this guy's, this guy is is totally impotent. You gotta let her go, mate. And like she's getting a divorce because he can't get it up. And, and this is, I assume, like in front of an audience, right? Yeah. And it's like so like it has nothing to do with stage fright. And let me tell you something from somebody who shot a lot of porn and for a time period had to shoot like amateur couples for a playboy. Oh. Like when men are in, get that stage fright and they're, exactly. they have that pressure on them and they're in front of other people. It is very hard to get it up. Whereas at home, like in the privacy of their own home, they're fine. So of course these things were not taken into consideration. Plus on top of that, you've got the like, and also if you don't get it up, your wife's going to divorce you. It's like- And everybody's going to know why. You know why. And so you're like, oh no. So like in the kind of um, early modern period, when you sort of switch into like um, witchcraft ac accusations and stuff, which it's not really a medieval thing, like the whole witchcraft accusation thing is early modern technical standpoint. Um, that is like one of the big things that women get accused of doing is like uh, casting spells on guys to like make them impotent. They're like, oh, because, and, and it is like this dangerous thing because it does mean that you can break up your marriage or something if you can't get it up. Um, obviously though, like you're not going to be able to do that if you're married to the King of England, right? Mm -hmm. Like no one is going to be like, well, okay, Henry, like drop your trousers, let's go. You know, like let's, let's see yeah. if it like you can't, so like, that's all well and good for average people or normal people, but those rules don't apply when you're the king. And like, I mean, that's what kicks off the reformation here. That's why, you know, like the Tudors, it's like, Oh, are they early modern? Are they medieval? Because Henry is the one who's like, okay, well that's, if you won't give me the divorce that I want in order to have uh, kids, which is what, you know, he thinks, I mean, he also just kind of like, doesn't like a lot of his wives. So let's be real. Um, mm -hmm. then, well, I'll leave the church. And you know, that's, you know, how you get the Church of England and stuff. So right. it works that like kind of like switches the onus onto women. Um, and there is a lot of that around because there is this whole thing about like, you have to be able, the reason that marriage exists is that it's about getting heirs. It's about um, getting pregnant. It's about having children. Um, and it's about like kind of securing the dynasty and securing the legacy. But we do, interestingly enough, in the medieval period, see a lot more um, that it's the dude's fault than women. But it all bets are off if you're talking about the king because the king is the king. Yeah. And nothing's ever his fault. Yeah. Never. Yeah.